Hey everyone, what's up? How you guys doing? Welcome back to Esports Talk. And we've mentioned it before, the Houston Outlaws know how to catch, but they do not know how to catch a break because unluckily enough, as they were flying to Washington DC for the Washington homestand, American Airlines somehow managed to misplace all their luggage. Yesterday afternoon, Ruckus tweeted saying, hey, at least we didn't die from the flight, but now none of us have bags. All of them are going to Baltimore. So that leaves the outlaws without all the clothes that they brought, any potential peripherals, or even medicine, because not too long ago, Linkser said that four of his teammates had come down with the flu. And I've read that some people have said that the Houston outlaws, you know, losing their luggage shouldn't really be affected too greatly when it comes to actually playing, but you never really know because you don't know what was in that luggage. We don't know if they're still recovering from the flu, perhaps, you know, and there's the whole mental aspect of man, I was just trying to fly out here and just play some Overwatch, but American Airlines can't even let me do that right. The Houston Outlaws are just unlucky. And of course, Baltimore isn't that far from DC, so you would think that maybe they could actually just recover their luggage in time, but the answer to that is pretty unclear because it's an airline, you know, they've got their own regulations and their own procedures that they got to follow, you know, return policies and stuff like that. And it also wasn't really revealed to us if there were more people that lost their luggage. So American Airlines could potentially be trying to send out a bunch of their luggage to whoever's missing it. And, you know, you got to account for a bunch of people. It could just take a lot longer than you would expect. But yeah, we've got Overwatch League games coming up this weekend. So stay tuned because we might see the Outlaws just wearing something different. Or like Mooma said, maybe they'll just wear nothing at all. No clothes, gang. And coming at you right now is our second story we're discussing today. That being the story of Stellar as he has joined Talon Esports as a DPS player. And yes, this is the same Stellar who was with the Boston Uprising and the Toronto Defiant who is now making his way onto a contenders team. Stellar's a great DPS player and him joining Talon kind of places him on a team that was already looking pretty solid after the roster changes they made last month where they lost three of their players to the Eternal Academy. So now they actually get to pursue a fully Korean roster. And like I said, this is likely going to be a step up from their previous roster. So it won't be too surprising if we see Talon doing pretty decent in Korea contenders. But I guess we'll have to see how that goes, of course, because contenders is starting back up pretty soon. So we'll get to witness the performance of this newly revitalized team. <laughs> But be sure to leave some comments if you guys have any thoughts regarding the Outlaws situation because they do kind of seem to be on a streak of bad luck as of recent, you know, with being forced to relocate out of their team house and with players not getting enough practice time for events. It just kind of keeps adding up and it's really unfortunate to see. And if any of you guys also have any thoughts or insight about the Stellar joining Talon, please feel free to talk about it down below. Drop some comments, of course. Talk to me. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be seeing you all very soon. So I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys next time. Happy Friday, by the way. Yes. Bye-bye. <laughs>